From Tampa Bay Streaming News Source, brought to you by AlertTodayFlorida.com, this is ABC Action News. Hello, I'm Wendy Ryan. Dennis has Florida's most accurate forecast in just a moment, but first, here are your ABC Action News Now headlines. Doctors will now decide if a woman who investigators say drowned her daughter is fit for trial. A judge today ordering Shaquilla Denson to undergo two mental competency evaluations. Prosecutors say she drowned her four-year-old daughter in the Hillsborough River earlier this month. The Coast Guard rescuing a kite surfer near Vinoy Park in St. Petersburg. Authorities say a 42 year old man was out on the water when the wind suddenly died down out of nowhere. The man could not make it back to shore from there, so a Coast Guard crew tossed him a rope and pulled him onto their boat. Trappers and FWC officers searching a Davie neighborhood tonight for a monitor lizard. A homeowner estimates that it's about seven feet long and 150 pounds. He says it showed up at his back patio door and was scratching to get inside the house. Right now, that lizard is still on the loose. In other news, authorities now shutting down the site of the mass shooting in Jacksonville. Officials now saying Chicago Pizza did not have a permit to hold the Madden video game tournament. And scientists now expressing new hope about a new opioid alternative. A new study finds it blocked pain and was not addictive like opioids. They did the study on animals and say it also eliminated some side effects of opioids. Now here's Dennis with your forecast. Dan. Hey, no, Wendy. Hey, everybody. Still looking at partly cloudy skies across the area. The forecast really hasn't changed at all through the holiday weekend, meaning the mornings will be sunny, lunchtime still sunny, and then the storms roll in between about 3, 4 o'clock and taper off by about 8 o'clock. That's the same setup again Saturday and Sunday. There is a tropical wave down to our south, and we're keeping our eyes on that. It could bump up rain chances early next week. All right, thanks, Dan. And you can now get news updates all day long on your favorite streaming device. And don't forget to download the free ABC Action News app. Visibility while driving at night can be challenging for drivers, and their failure to see pedestrians is often fatal. In Florida, 75% of pedestrian fatalities occur at night. Many drivers say they never saw the pedestrian. What will it take to see them? Can you see him now? Drivers, look for pedestrians, especially at night. Pedestrians, make sure you are visible. Alert tonight, alive tomorrow, because safety doesn't happen by accident.